So, welcome back to my channel. We are filtering the silver nitrate, and uh, man, that is crystal clear. I decided not to uh, microdose uh, to get those little bit of crumbs. We've used up all the nitric. It's um, 215 grams, maybe maybe a little more. I'll figure it out when I weigh that little bit of crumb, shot crumbs there. But, you know, that's enough to get us going. I would prefer 120 grams per liter of solution, but, you know, this is going to be close enough. And we're going to run some silver through it, and then we're going to run some dirty silver through it. And what I mean by that is we're going to run some fine silver through it, and then some dirty silver afterwards. Um, I have a, seems like a very slight tint to it. But, uh, man, it looks really good. I can't wait to start this silver cell up tonight. And uh, through the magic of YouTube and video editing, we will come back to a solution of electrolyte in a few minutes. I'm not going to put you through the agony of watching this drip for two minutes. All right, guys. So this is silver nitrate. There's 700 milliliters of solution that has... 230 grams of silver divided into that total volume so therefore 350 milliliters would have 123 grams of silver and we are going to run that through our cell i'm going to divide that up and then put it into uh, a one liter cell and then we're going to call it a night with that start start up the cell in just a little while and check it in the morning but uh this is the electrolyte man that stuff is clear it looks good all right welcome back and uh we're going to start this up real soon i promise I have uh, used, want to use this bar that's speckled and then run this impure shot through afterwards. I would like to get as much silver crystal and silver into this solution without putting a lot of copper into it and then put that uh, this shot right here was from where I cemented the um, silver, the sterling silver with copper nitrate, a boiled copper nitrate down and used it to dissolve and cement in one beaker. It's got a little bit of copper in it. You can see from the shot. And after I run that bar down, I will take that out and then run some of that um impure shot through it but we're getting ready to fire this thing up and in the morning we will look at some silver crystal i might even give you guys a sneak peek later but you can see here for my cathode i use those stainless steel uh, wire ties instead of a solid plate or a bowl i like watching the crystal grow when i get home from work man i kind of find it relaxing I'm not gonna lie, I really do like watching it grow instead of in the silver bowl, you know, you get to watch it daily. And I promise you, man, we're gonna go larger. I need to get some more beakers. Uh, I know, man, I'm so cheap. Every penny I spend is on refining materials and not my lab equipment. So we're gonna start it up anyway. So it's only been on for a couple of minutes. We're running about 2.3 volts. Um, just over five, excuse me, half an amp. It's 5.67 amp, and that brings us to like 1.3 watts. And uh, like I said, it's only been going for a couple of minutes. And look at the little sparkles, man. That's that's pretty good. We'll come back, like I said, in a little while, and uh, you'll get a good idea of the growth on it. But that's uh, that's not bad, man. Not bad. One liter cell. We're gonna see how much we can crank out. You don't need to get fancy, man. Just stick with the bare, you know, the basics, really. It's the basics to count. The solar cell's uh, one hour in operation. And uh, see the crystals are starting to form. 
Uh, there's one long one right there. Uh, I'm just gonna, gonna let this roll. I'll check it in the morning. It's my half feral lab cat, so it just wants to have a cameo appearance. Anyway, that's the uh, that's the cell. We're gonna call it a night and uh, check it again in the morning. Let's see if you can see that better. This is from my washing out of the beakers when I um, squirt them with the water bottle and collect them into this 500 milliliter or half a liter beaker and just cemented the values out to capture the silver but nothing's going to waste here. We're going to recover everything and pour that into some shot later.